I started ICD 10 years ago, exactly today. I think in the last 10 years, I'm most proud of uh, we built an amazing team. We started in a 10 meter square office. First two years, I always thought we we're gonna kick ass. Little did we know we didn't. The company is losing a lot of money and there's zero culture in the company. We're a very different company now. We have grown exponentially in the last 10 years. ICD has really grown since the time we joined into mm, a well-recognised sure. brand in Victoria as a developer, but also around Australia and with our first overseas project, now international. I tell people what to do you know, and walk around and look busy. Now I'm the managing director of ICD Property. Yes, I do tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I find money <laughs> yeah. to build stuff. I help him find money. He helps me find money, yeah. yeah. And we then build stuff. <laughs> we would have to be the A team in terms yeah. of fun. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's us. I can't imagine what it was like before we got here. Awesome culture here, like all the other workplaces I've been to, everyone sort of does their job and gets out, but everyone here is sort of like family, I guess. Yeah, it is. I tell you that's the word. Probably. <laughs> if your family all tell terrible jokes. How many occupational health and safety people does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, that's an interesting question. Maybe two, one to hold the ladder, one to change the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was going to say one to change the light bulb, three to hold the ladder. What? <laughs> <laughs> Extra no, you course. can't take my punchline. Right? <laughs> I like how we take chances. Like, we're not afraid to get things wrong. But it is about learning from yourself, from the mistakes mm. you make and the mistakes that others make. It's OK to be, to feel vulnerable. It's OK to be completely authentic. Taking the risk. Uh, calculate at risk. I only do projects that we're passionate about because that's something Michael really believes in, that the best results come from when people are good at their jobs doing something they're passionate about on a project that they care about. One of the projects I've been proud of the most is probably Hawker. For me, it's the Gen Finds Fed. I'm working on King Street or Aspire Melbourne, which is a really good project. Myself and Annie have actually bought apartments in there, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very proud personally when I talk about EQ Tower. No, actually, I, I own an apartment in, in the building as well. Yeah, he should have bought it after he started, he would have got a discount. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're creating homes for people, a community. People say to me, you have the best culture of any company I know. That really makes me proud. Good job. It, it's good. Right, let's do it. <laughs>Old son, and I'd like to at some point when he was able to speak to me, ask me, um, So, dad, what do you do for a living? And I can tell him, See that building, the big, great, big blue, purple building over there? We built that. And you know, that's something that would make me really proud to say. Happy 10th birthday, ICD!